G'day guys, welcome to today's video tutorial. We're going to have a look at context diagrams and data flow diagrams and explore the relationship between them. I'm going to provide you with a data flow diagram and based on that data flow diagram we're going to draw a context diagram. So let's jump across and have a look. So here's my data flow diagram and the situation that goes along with it. So it's for a school administration system and you can see how it's broken down. The system's been broken down into one, two, three processes along with the two external entities. So I can highlight the external entities in yellow and our processes in blue. You can also see that there's one data store in our system and as well as that we've got the data that's being passed between each of the entities, processes and data stores. So what we want to do now is take that information, go one step back and create a level zero context diagram. So move this over to the side. Now context diagrams have one single circle to represent the entirety of the system. So let's add our circle in there and we'll make him black. might delete my green one and I'm going to label my system as the school administration system. Now the next step is I'm going to put in my uh, external entities and they're represented by the squares that we highlighted in yellow just before. And just to keep it nice and tidy I'm going to add one external entity on the left, I'm going to add the other external entity over on the right, and we can label those. So we've got the student and the staff. Now in a context diagram the data store is not represented, it's part of the system and is not part of the level zero data flow diagram. So now what I want to do is let's focus on just the student for now and let's have a look at the data that's flowing into the student and out of the student. So I can see flowing out of the student is an enrollment form and that's being given to the enrol which is part of our system. So let's add on an arrow and I can say enrollment form. And being given to the student is a degree transcript. So coming out of my system, being given to the student is a degree transcript. And then on the other side, let's have a focus in on the staff member. Being given to the staff member is a class list. And the staff member gives to the system test papers. So in reality for a school administration system there's probably more data that's being passed around but now data flow diagram that information hasn't been identified so as a result a context diagram is not going to focus in on that data. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.